Hello Brick fans and welcome back to the channel, it's Gareth here and in today's episode, as the Black Falcons receive even more castles, the Lion Knights are building some siege engines so that they can complement the Black Falcons castles. Ah. So the set Billy Bean will be building will be 6039, the twin arm catapult launcher. This set, 6039, came out in 1988 and consists of 77 pieces and two minifigures and a horse and one of the first boardings for the horse as well the red one with the yellow lions on. This piece came out this year, brand new. And the instruction manual is just a fold out pamphlet, leaflet, with instructions on both sides. They are nicely laid out, clear and easy to follow, consisting of 15 steps for the construction. And there's some printing down at the bottom, the usual writing you get at the bottom of instructions. And it says 1988 Lego Group. And on the other side, the rest of the build. And at the bottom of this page as well, it also has some printing. It says, printed in Denmark. Cool. Let's put it together. feel about this kind of folks really feel that we put together a good catapult say does it shoot far as far as you need it to hit what you're aiming at what a nice build so this twin arm launcher has four wheels as we can see and is movable to roll it about has two nice pennants on the top a yellow and a red one and twin arm catapult launchers or onagar but it's more like a mangonel to an arm mangonel launcher, as this is a medieval catapult. Anyway, it has four little yellow one by one cylinders that are used for ammunition, and you put each one of those in the bucket at the end. And on the other end, flip the other end and watch the missile fly. <laughs> this used to be really fun to use when I was younger, when I was little, when playing with my brother in his other Lego castle bits, in sieges and stuff. The mounted guard that comes in the set is riding the horse with the boarding. First moulded Lego boarding that was produced with the yellow lions on the red background. Very nice. White horse. And the minifigure has a breastplate on. One of the classic round shields and a red pennant on his flanks. The other Lion Knight guard or catapult operator is just the standard Lion Knight torso with a round shield and a sword and the nasal helm. Good for army building though. This was a good set. I enjoyed building it, and when I was younger I enjoyed building it then as well, and using it. It was a nice easy way of getting the horse boarding, because the only other sets it came out with were the two sets, 1584 the Knight's Challenge, and 6085 the Black Monarch's Castle, and these were larger sets and more expensive. So this twin armed catapult set was the best set to get the boarding in, if you didn't want to spend much money. And I've also brought something off Timu. I thought it looked pretty cool. And I'd never bought anything off here before, so I wanted to see what it was like. I'm not sure if it's a copy from some other official, not Lego, but uh, building block set. As there's nothing on the instructions, it just says Flying Dragon. And no brand name or number. It just has a set number, which is kind of strange. So, I will be building this. I won't be filming it, I don't think. But I'll just be putting it together in my own time, just to see what it's like. And if I'm happy with it, and if it goes together well, I shall recreate it with official, proper Lego bricks. Maybe change the colour a bit. It's got these huge flex tubing though. I'm sure you can get these from Lego. If not, I'll just mod it or alter it or something. And rebuild it with that. So, it comes with a huge bag of non-official Lego pieces. All numbered up. I'm not sure if they'll actually go in numbers, like it showed in the instructions. Or if they're just random bags of pieces. And also comes with this massive cloth wings. They are huge. A bit creased. I could do probably ironing them out first or something. But from one end to the other, they measure 105 centimetres. Or 41 inches from tip to tip. And I could use these as a template to make other wings out of fabrics and probably put a bit of dye on to make them different and look different for my own dragon box. Yeah, that's an idea. Cool. Hmm. That's it, I think, for this episode. Thank you for watching, Brit fans, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please join me again next time, and feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. It's much appreciated, and I hope you all have a lovely day. See you later.